Hello everybody and welcome to Chrono Place in the real world. As you can see, I'm not in my normal studio. I am actually out in the real world. See, I do get out every once in a while. This is the basement that I've been cleaning out for the past month that I mentioned in a previous vloggy thing video. Um, and as you can see behind me, we've got tons of shelves and tons of equipment. And this place was completely, and I mean completely full of trash when we first got down here. So I had to clean up and get all the trash out of here and then we had to get all this equipment down here. But the problem is this building that we're in right now is approximately 100, 125 years old. I'm not 100% sure how old exactly, uh, but Basically, what that means is that there is no elevator here. So in this basement, it's stairs or nothing. However, the big, big, big problem with this place is these stairs. Now, these stairs, I guess, were made for people that were, I don't know, skinnier than me. Because as you can see, shoulder to shoulder, I'm almost touching the walls. And... <laughs> So the big question is, how do you get a ton or several tons of garbage out of here and a ton and a half of shelves and several tons of equipment? And I'm not exaggerating when I say this stuff. We did take out several tons of garbage. The shelving, I did the math, is a ton and a half. And the equipment you see back there is maybe a third of what is you know, coming down here. So how do you get all that down here and get all the trash out of here, down, up the stairs that basically you can't carry anything heavy up? Well, you do it with this. A modular track system designed and built by my dad with the idea that we put it on the stairs, use it for what we need, and then we take it off again. Since those stairs are too thin, we have to take this track down or it becomes a safety hazard. The build starts by placing cross beams on predetermined stairs. The tracks are then laid over the cross beams. There are six track parts in total, each specifically built to conform to the individual contours of these antique stairs. The top pieces have extra triangular extensions allowing the cart to reach above the top of the stairs for easy loading and unloading. Everything is then bolted together. Thanks to captive nuts, a few washers, and some well-placed drops of glue, the parts list for this section of the build include a handful of bolts and a power socket driver. I'm taking extra care to align the tracks properly. This is made easier by spacers and the cross beams forcing the tracks to the correct width. Next, a device we call the fence is put in place. It holds an extending power cord for the hoist and a removable metal bar that a hook can attach to. The fence is ratcheted down to the top of the tracks using standard cargo tie downs. Power is connected and then the extendable power cord is pulled down to the bottom of the stairs. Then the hoist cart is wheeled into place. This device weighs around 50 pounds and not easily taken up the stairs by hand. Thanks to the extending power cord and extendable controls, the hoist hook can be pulled up to the eye bolt on the fence. Once the hook is attached, the cart can pull itself up. The fence is then removed, allowing the hoist cart to wheel off the track. The fence is then put back into place with the hoist cart behind it. 
Everything is strapped together, making an enclosed system and increasing how much weight can be pulled up the tracks. The extendable controls are again used to pull the hook back down the stairs so the lift cart can be attached. The lift cart is then put into place, the hook attached, the back slipped into place, and the system is ready to go. Setup takes around 20 minutes, but saves several hours of backbreaking work. The lift works best when there's somebody at the top loading and someone else at the bottom unloading, but with a little creativity in getting over the cart, one person can use this build beginning to end by themselves. How can this setup save time if there's only one person to operate it? The cart's max carrying capacity, while not fully tested, is over 120 pounds. Each time a number of boxes equaling the max carrying capacity are loaded onto the cart, it saves that many trips up and down the stairs. It also allows large, heavy items to be taken down the stairs without risking loss of balance. Teardown takes about 15 minutes. The entire build then tucks away nicely into a cubby hole under the stairs. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by leaving a thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.